Hello my friends, today we are working on Affinity Photos and um, we are going to learn how to blur the background. I have this bear photo and I really like the, the photo but I feel like the background is very distractive. It has a lot of specular highlights. So how do we do that? First I like to duplicate the background. So with the background selected, I uh, on the Mac it's Command J and this will duplicate the background. Now with the top layer selected, we want to separate the bear from the background. And for that, I will go here on the left side and click on this brush that is the selection brush tool. It's like the quick selection brush tool in Photoshop. I'm going to make my brush bigger and I'm going to make just a rough selection of the bear and the rocks. Just a quick selection. Once I made my quick selection, I am going to make the brush smaller and now I am going to pay more attention and do a little bit better of a selection. To deselect the part, like over here between the legs, you click option and then work and that will do like a negative selection, so you deselect it. I want to make sure it goes all the way on the side over there. Let's see, the ear a little bit better selected. That looks good. Maybe I want to go a little bit more to the edge over here. Then we want to make sure these rocks are pretty well selected. I'm not going to select these uh, plants that are coming out from the rock. I'm going to sacrifice those. Option, doing here to get rid of that little part. I'm going to zoom in now. And over here, make the brush smaller. And option, kind of quick select that. Try to do a little bit better selection. Go more a little bit to the edge. And the uh, more you're zoomed in and pay attention to the details, the better of a selection you will get. So let's see around, that looks good. That looks good. Maybe a little bit on this rock. And that looks good. All right, now with this uh, rough selection, oops, I'm gonna correct that just a little bit. Oh, we missed some parts over here. All right, I'm not gonna spend all day here on this selection. We'll pretend this is good enough for now. And now that we have this selection, Command Zero to see it on the whole screen, we'll have to go to the Refine button over here. And this is just like the brush, re, uh, refined brush in Photoshop. We get this overlay, this is a red overlay. You can change and see a black matte or whatever makes you know sense to you. I'm gonna keep it an overlay for now. And then I am going to zoom in. To zoom in, it's Command Plus. And then I'm going to use this matte and just go around. And the program is trying to do a better selection, like a refined mask. Here I can see I have some red. I can choose foreground and just go on the very edges here and that tells the program, hey, this you're supposed to select these things. So go over it. Keep going with the matte, which is the refine brush and I'll go all the way around. You don't wanna go too long of a strokes or the program will struggle to make a good selection. So I'm going like that. And now you see it's selected too much here, so I'm gonna go to the background because that is the background. And just kind of tell it, hey, this is background, please do not select that. And now it's selected too much, move into the foreground, and you get it, you just kind of toggle between one to another until you get the selection you would like. That looks good to me over there. I'm going back to matte. And let's see, can I select those parts? Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna keep going with my mat. I really want these whiskers to show up, so I'm gonna go over those. And now I'm going to foreground because it did not select this part of the mouth, so I'm gonna click on that. And that looks better. All right, back to the mat. And some of this is gonna be hard for the program to really make a good selection just because 
The bear has like a golden color and so is the background. It has like the yellow and the greens, but we'll try our best. Moving on into the foot. If you've used Photoshop before, then this will be very uh, familiar to you because it was just the same. We'll take care of this selection. Now I will choose foreground because it's selected too much over here. All right, let's move on. Select the math again and just go over here on the side. Foreground. Try to do your best. Take your time. There's no rush. All right, let's say the bear is good enough. We'll move into the rocks over here. If you hold a space bar, then with your mouse, you can move around the frame. And now I choose my foreground, make the brush smaller. Just kind of tell the program, hey, you're supposed to select those. And in this case, it went too much. Oops supposed to select background for this. Almost done on this side. Moving on on this side. And by any means, this is not the perfect selection. If you wanna do a perfect selection, you really wanna zoom in and take your time. We're just going quick to this, just to show you the technique. Let's see, maybe a little bit here. And maybe here a little bit. Like I said, I am sacrificing these plants and I will not select them. All right, command zero to fit the screen. Let's see it if we see it in a black mat. I like to do that. That way I can see it better since it has so much highlights on the side. And it does not look bad. It's pretty good. We'll go with that. So once we got our selection, now we want to go to output. And you can output it just as a mask, but I like to do a new layer with mask. And once you do this, you click apply and you can always go back if you need to refine your mask. And now we are going to our background and this is where I see a lot of people making the mistake. What they do, they go here and just choose Gaussian blur and they blur the background. But you see it also blurs the bear that was in the background and that gives you this like brown, um, like, you know, outline and it just does not look good. So I'm going to delete this Gaussian blur. And now uh, let's do it the proper way. The proper way you want to come here and choose this um, in painting brush. First, let's deselect the bear that we selected. And now with the in painting brush, I'm going to make it really large and I'm just going to paint over the bear and the rocks. I want to completely remove it. And this is in Photoshop, this would be similar to content aware feel. The program it will do its best to completely uh, replace the bear with the background. And this is what we're getting. Maybe I'll even get rid of these little things, even though they won't matter much. All right. And now that we got rid of the bear, we'll turn back the bear layer. And now with the background selected, now we want to go and apply our Gaussian blur. And here, if you blur it now, you can go all the way. You're not going to get those halos around the bear. So you don't want to go all the way. It just looks so fake. You want to leave a little bit of texture behind. And then make sure you click this preserve alpha because you see we have these uh, see-through edges. And once we click that, that will correct that. And there you have it. Now we have the bear on one layer and we have our background in the other layer. So this is how you would correct the background. 
And now because the background is on a different layer, you can go on and edit it if you want to, for example, let's see. If I want to make the green maybe not so green, I can go to a selective color and then I can go into my greens and take down the yellow a little bit. Then I can also go into the yellows, take down the yellows a little bit. I can add some black if I want. I can also go back to greens where I was and maybe add a little bit of magenta that will tone down the greens. And this is just how you would edit a photo like this to blur the background. As a disclaimer, I'm pretty new to Affinity Photo. I only started using it a few uh, days ago, but it's so similar to Photoshop that, you know, it's pretty intuitive. There are some quirky things that I have not figured out, but I'm working on it. And uh, I'm planning on making more tutorials on Affinity Photo. And uh, don't worry, I will keep going with my new tutorials as well. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.